weather with Damian Lotus. Summertime is less than a week old here and it already feels like it. We've had some folks already climbing to the triple digits and it looks like we're going to see that once again here for today. Let's get you ready for the latest here. This is a statewide view of our storm scanner. And over the past hour, we've had cloudy skies across southern and southeastern Oklahoma, but we have some more clouds developing across both the Oklahoma and Texas panhandles. For the majority of the state, we're going to see nice sunny skies here as we head into this afternoon. Most of this is going to be good news. If there's one drawback about today's forecast, it's going to be this right here, the grass pollen. And because of the humidity, that stubborn, stubborn mold spore count have been elevated to a high for this afternoon. And even the ragweed and tree pollen have been elevated to a moderate. So not the best allergy report here for this afternoon. Temperature wise right now, I'm tracking temperatures in the low to mid 80s, 86 degrees right now for you folks joining us from Chickasha. Across the rest state, we already have some 90s across southwestern Oklahoma, 80s here for majority of the state. It's going to be hot. It's going to be windy. It is going to be muggy as we head into this afternoon. Hour by hour forecast here for the rest of your Monday. Lots of sunshine. Nice blue skies here for today. Highs will make it to the 90s. It's going to be hot. It's going to be muggy. Winds will be out of the east primarily about 5, 10, gusting up to 15 miles an hour. And highs across the state this afternoon will range from the 80s, 90s, and yes, there will even be some triple digits across far southern Oklahoma and the Red River Valley. So it is going to be sunny, hot, and muggy with highs across central Oklahoma climbing into the low to mid 90s. There will be a low chance of shower storms and severe weather. There will be one chance across southeastern Oklahoma, another chance across both the Oklahoma and Texas panhandles as we head into tonight. Large hail, damaging winds will be possible with some of these storms as we head into the overnight hours. And across far southern Oklahoma, a heat advisory continues here across the far southern parts of the state along the Red River. Yesterday, this map was lighting up like a Christmas tree, but overall, it's not quite as hot today as it was yesterday, so the heat advisory is just lasting across across southern parts of Oklahoma. And you can see why this is what it's going to feel like as we head into this afternoon. It'll feel like the triple digits across far southern Oklahoma. Dangerous heat across the Red River with some folks climbing as high as feeling like 105, 106. That is dangerously hot here for some parts of the state. So always remember this time of year, if you are going to be out and about, wear loose fitting, light colored clothing, and always remember your four legged friends. Make sure your pets have plenty of water plenty of shade and always remember that if the ground is too hot for your hands, it will be too hot for their paws. But as we head into the weekend, I will be tracking some really good rainfall chances, especially across western and southeastern Oklahoma. Even here for central parts of the state, we'll see about a quarter of an inch to a half an inch of total rainfall, which is a good thing. We still need to bank on as much rainfall as we can get. The first real good chance of rain is going to happen tonight across eastern and southeastern parts of the state. There will be a low chance here for the Oklahoma City Metro. We'll see about a 20% chance of showers here for tonight and tomorrow. Before today, I'll be tracking sunny skies, breezy winds. It's going to be hot. It's going to be muggy. Highs today will make it to the 90s, but it will feel like the triple digits here for some parts of the state. We'll see a low chance of rain for tomorrow. Some isolated showers and storms, not really much of a severe threat. But then after that, tracking triple digit heat back in the forecast as we head into the weekend. And for that weekend, tracking some isolated shower and thunderstorm chances with some cooler weather as we head into July 4th. And I'm sure you're looking forward to that because this guy was telling me that he's been golfing here over the weekend <laughs> and it uh, got a little warm, didn't it, for it Saturday did. and Sunday? Yeah, Saturday was particularly hot with all that humidity. <laughs> yeah, for that sure. was like, uh, you, you, did you swim up here, you know, because it's uh, getting a little hot out there. <laughs> it is for yeah. sure. We have a few hot days to get through yet. Yeah, That's true. It sure looks like it. All right.